Today, the Diocese of Rockville Center is filing a voluntary petition for reorganization under Chapter 11 of the U.S. Bankruptcy Code. We know that this will be difficult news for the people across the diocese to hear, especially for the many people of Long Island, Catholic and non-Catholic alike, who depend on the church in so many ways. Parishioners will certainly have many questions, and so it is important that we take the time to understand what this decision means in order to avoid misconceptions. In the year since the passage of the Child Victims Act, more than 200 lawsuits alleging sexual abuse have been filed against the Diocese of Rockville Center. What became clear was that the diocese was not going to be able to continue to carry out its spiritual, charitable, and educational missions if it were to continue to shoulder the increasingly heavy burden of litigation expenses associated with these cases. The financial burden of the litigation has been severe and only compounded by the COVID-19 pandemic. Our goal is to make sure that all clergy sexual abuse survivors, and not just a few who were first to file lawsuits, are afforded just and equitable compensation. It is hoped that this offers survivors the possibility of some measure of healing from these horrific abuses. We concluded that a Chapter 11 filing was the only way to ensure a fair and equitable settlement for all abuse survivors. That is because the bankruptcy court will centralize the litigation and oversee a settlement, making sure that no survivor is left out or gets unfair compensation at the expense of another survivor.